What's up everyone? Welcome to lecture 9 of Python 4 and Gas series. Uh, my name is Divyansh and in the previous video what we have learned is about input functions in, and today we'll uh, see what string indexing is. So let's get started with the video. So indexing, you know what indexing is, right? Uh, there are indexes in books, in notebooks. So what indexing is doing is what index helps us with that it shows that a particular thing is at particular position. So this is a similar case in the case of strings. Uh, what, what we use indexing for is if we want to know the location of any particular character, we go and use the string indexing. So indexing means positioning here. Uh, let's say I have a variable name reservoir. Okay. Let's say I have a variable name reservoir. So here the indexing, indexing here, this, this will be capital R, not the small r. So this capital R, in the one, one thing to remember is that indexing starts from 0 in Python, not from 1. So the first character will have the index 0 and the second character will have the index 1 and the third indexing will have the character 2 and so on and so on, right? So this capital R, this capital R has the index 0 this uh, small e has the index 1 this s will have the index 2 and similarly will be going on and going on and going on one more thing to remember is that a uh, python in python we can also go for the reverse indexing it means we can also start from the reverse order so if we want to access this r this r can have a uh, two indexes first one in the normal trend if we go from uh, starting to end the index will be at eighth position and if we want to start from uh, if we start from the uh, reverse order it will also have the index minus 1 and similarly if this r is minus 1 then this i will have the index of uh, minus 2 and then o will have the index of minus 3 as well i'll show you how to now access the uh, these characters with the help of index let's uh, there's a one very simple uh, syntax what we, uh, I am just showing you syntax here. What you do is you write the variable name if your string is stored in a variable or you can simply write the string name if there is no variable, right? So variable name and you use the square brackets here and you just write the index position. Index position here. So uh, let's see if now if I am able to access by this method so my variable name is var I put in the square brackets here and now I put the index let's say 0 I want to see what is at the position of index 0 so it gives me the capital R right which is correct so if I go for variable var and I go for index 2 so index 2 means the third position so that third position is s first second third third position is s right similarly let's say uh, i want to go for in the reverse order i what i do is var minus one minus one is giving me this r that is the last last r this value of r is at the minus one and this same r will have the variable and will have the position as eight also now let's say uh, i do that I want to go for variable and var and I want to check what is there at the index number 9. This will uh, give me an error because it shows that string is uh, string index is out of the range. It means that 9 index doesn't exist in the string for this string. Why this is happening is uh, because the index is ending at 8, right? Now in this uh, in this case uh, we have a small a small word a small letter word so we can be we, we were easily able to count that okay the eighth is the final index so there are means nine characters and eighth is the final index because index is starting from zero so maximum index will always be uh, equals to length minus one so in case of a uh, larger number of strings large character strings what we can do is if we know what is the length of our string and and it will be uh, very easily able to calculate uh, the maximum index that is length minus one right so now for this case we also require first we need to know what is the length of the string for that function we have a length function uh, length function 
there's another way to add this comment here what you can do is you can just simply uh, press control and forward slash so this will automatically add a hashtag and it will make you a comment so how we write a length function is i'll write the just syntax here the syntax is len that represents length you use the normal parenthesis curved parenthesis and here you write uh, the name of your string or the name of a variable which is storing a string okay so if i want to check the length of uh, my variable what i have to do is simple len parenthesis i just input my variable name inside the brackets and this will give me the length of uh, variable that is 9 so i can easily guess here that the my string index maximum string index will be 8 right so this happens uh, this actually helps us when in the cases of when we have a uh, a string which contains a lot of characters that is a length is uh, very high and we are not uh, able to calculate manually that this will be the index this will be the index of last character so let's say i have a variable to new variable i create and i go for a new word that is tiruvananth tiruvananth puram right let's say this is my uh, variable number two so if i if i want to go for this index i want to calculate the index of this m that is the last m manually it will be very difficult for me so what i can do is i can just simply check what is the length of this variable that is length where 2 and so i know that if length is 17 the maximum index will be 16 so i now know that my m the last m where the word tiruvananthapuram is ending the index of that m is uh, 16 it will be 16 so if i check if i go for cross verification if i check variable 2 and 16th index of the variable 2 it will give me m right i hope you have understood what i'm uh, trying to do here is now this is uh but in the string indexing we are just selecting a single character what if we want to uh, if you want to take a slice from a, a a string if you want to take multiple characters at a single time from a string so in that uh, that we will be seeing in our next video that is uh, based on string slicing so thank you for uh, tuning here and uh, i'll see you in the next video